Thank you, Mike. And before the show went up, there were two other members of the extended play family. That's uh, Marcella Simeon and Ann Harris. We, they connected back to me to say hello to everybody because I told them I was here. So we send kisses. That's from the ex Gumbo Grits Gravy. Okay. Let's do a song by Muddy Waters <laughs> called My Eyes Keep Me in Trouble. Now all the men in the audience know exactly what I'm talking about. The women are about 95 women. That is a natural fact. Oh, well, I love pretty women. Baby, that's a natural fact. I love to love pretty women. Any girl could join my pack. Right, women all day and women all night. Yes, I love pretty women, honey. That's a natural fact. I love to love pretty women till they make their hair turn black. Kisses on my right, kisses all day and kisses all night. Yes, I love pretty women, honey, that's a natural fact. I thought to love pretty women till they make their hair turn back. My eyes keep me in trouble when every woman I see. On every woman I see Oh, pretty women gonna kill me Just come and get poor me <laughs> Thank you Thank you so much. Now that's got me in mind of another Muddy Water song called The Catfish Blue. smoking back down the road I go 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 thank you
I'm going to do a song that perhaps is not expected of me, but it came out of me, and I got to sing it. It's important, because what I do is to obey what comes to me with thoughtfulness. I'm going to sing a song that hopefully you will join me singing. It is not easy necessarily because it's about a difficult subject, a very difficult subject. It concerns the Middle East. Now where this blues man get into this, it's just there. It's there. The blues is not limited to just this skin, just this body, just this place. The song is a lament for Palestine. The song is called Palestine, Old Palestine. And it's important for me to state that it does not call for anyone's blood, nobody's blood, because there's been plenty of that. But it calls for us to listen and to speak from our hearts. If you can sing with me, I'd appreciate it very much. Sometimes not everybody can. The words to the chorus go, Palestine, oh Palestine, where have you gone? Where have you gone? Now, by the end of this song, a change takes place, and some different words are sung that come from a different point of view. I don't want to tell you what all that is right now. I can only promise that in singing this song, I'm promising not to lead folks off some sort of weird emotional cliff where you would all die at the bottom or something like that. No, it's about listening to more than one point of view, even though it is a lament for one of these two uh, factions, let's put it that way. Oh, 
Palestine, where have you gone? Where have you gone? In the rare times that there's peace between our enemy sides, we look through the fence into each other's eyes. Then someone fires a shot and again the war must start. I can feel the world dying. Yes, I feel the world dying from a broken heart. Palestine, oh Palestine. Palestine, oh Palestine, where have you gone? Where have you gone? Palestine, oh Palestine, where have you gone? Thank you. Thank you so much. Kokomo Kid CD called Taking Just a Little Bit of Time. You know, before I do it, I want to take a slight detour, let you know that during COVID-19, during the worst part of it, the first two full years of it, I put on a Facebook live cast called Coffee with Kokomo, half hour long, 10 o'clock every morning for 400 shows, except for Saturdays. I had to leave out Saturdays, so I'd come here and do this gig, you know. Uh, And, uh, you know, uh, death, death will always be with us from whatever cause, be it disease, war, whatever. But the isolation of COVID-19 yeah. was 
unprecedented, certainly in my lifetime, and it shook me bad. I think we uh, have been traumatized more than we may know. That isolation was so awful. But we had this online coffee house, and you're sitting there with your screen pretending like, and, and I'm playing songs, and we're talking smack like you do it. Come, hey, Joey, pass the ketchup. Oh, I put it in my coffee. I meant to do it on my English muffin. But, you know, um, these things happen. You know, in COVID-19, you don't know what you're doing. You're sitting there alone. Who knows, you know? So a lot of the people who used to tune into this thing, and there were a lot of them, somehow we got hold of these rubber plastic pink pigs, <laughs> and we'd squeak them like, and it's supposed to say oink, but they sounded more like ducks, sounded more like a quack, like a quack, quack, and something like that. And um, so there was a song I used to sing every show. We had a theme song. We had several themes. Now, this is one of them. But instead of oinking, I'll get you guys to just clap a couple of times, because if you oink, you might say, my God, what are my neighbors going to say? I'm sitting here on television oinking. Yes, I'm, I'm on the internet, and I'm oinking. OK, so, um, so it's going to go. It, we're talking about coffee. It's time for a cup. That's what I want. It's time for a cup. One more time. It's time for a cup. I want to sip coffee. Okay, and uh, we would do salutes on the show. We're talking all sorts of stuff. And then we used to say clink with our cups. But then once we got the pigs, we started saying cloink. <laughs> and who knew it was going to get so crazy? So let's, uh, this is what the people heard in the morning. Get out of that bed, oh, you sleepy head. It's time for a, a Wallace's coffee. Quit your bitching and report to the kitchen. It's time for a cup of Wallace's coffee. Go to the stove, boil the water, drink some coffee just like you oughta. See that Keurig up on the shelf? Make some for me and some for yourself. Now who's sitting on top of the refrigerator? Is that grandma, you and your percolator? Well, it's time for a cup of Wallace's coffee. Oh yeah. Remember life is hands on. You got to wake up and pull your pants on. It's time for a cup of Wallace's coffee. Wallace's coffee. Wallace's coffee. And as if that wasn't enough, we had another product called Mother Maybell's Better Butter Biscuits. That went like this, that's it. Let's see, that goes something like this. You know, COVID make you do strange things. You could lick them, you could crick them, you could trick them, you could trick them, you could buy them, you could even multiply them from the top to the bottom. You'd be so glad you got them. Mother Maybell, better butter biscuit, babe. Mother Maybell, better butter biscuit, babe. You could meet him, you could greet him, you could heat him, you could eat him, you could stick him, you could lick him, you could quick him, you could trick him, you could try him, you could buy him, you could even multiply him from the top to the bottom. You'd be so glad you got them. Mother Maybell, better butter biscuit, babe. Mother Maybell, better butter biscuit, babe. Better butter biscuit, babe. Thank you. And people told me that it felt good to stay connected. And, and I'm glad of that, but I was doing it to keep me sane. 
because uh, isolation doesn't do good for me. I like a lot of time alone, but then I know I can just go out of the apartment, go to the store, and, you know, do So here is taking just a little bit of time. The only words you have to remember to help me sing this are taking just a little bit of time, baby, taking just a little bit of time. selections left. I'm very grateful that you came here to this newly refurbished, reestablished establishment. But it ain't that much refurbished. I mean, this, you know, fallout shelter top to bottom. I like this place. Yeah. They got good hooch, nice vegetables. Bill, Bill, why, why, why it's all vegetarian here? Why don't you have some meat up in here? <laughs> we was back up at 
hillside and you know by the still. He said, because yeah, you can't turn meat into liquor. So <laughs> Bill, smart man, vegetable. <laughs> Vodka made out of carrots and stuff like that. Broccoli tonic has a whole new meaning out here. Man. And it's okay because the sheriff's sitting right in the back. Hey, man. Give all this long-winded tuning I gotta do. Just these guitars, you know. Guitars are very temperamental because they have G-strings, and you know that'll get for you. So you come twanging on my G-string. You don't twang on hers, but you twang on mine. So don't I give you everything? Baby, I, I bought your cleaning cloth, didn't I? <laughs> We're real close. So just give me a minute. Ah, ooh. So during uh, the worst part of COVID, it lasted longer than it even feels like. Uh, I wrote not only songs very often to put on my daily show, but I wrote a whole play. I wrote a play called Sugar Belly, and this next song is in the play, as is Long Gone Riley Brown. You know, this play got a lot of elements to it, Jones. Now what I'm getting ready to sing is a song called Early in the Morning, about saying goodbye to people that you love. We had to do a lot of that during COVID. And the fact that we could not easily reach out and touch people, hold their face, be close enough to absorb their essence, made it very, very, very difficult. I'm hoping that you'll sing this with me. I'll let you know what words to sing. Sing me. Sing me a song early, early in the morning. This time, this time tomorrow, I may be gone. Sing me a song early in the morning. This time, this time tomorrow. I may be gone Try your tears Where I go You cannot follow Wash my face When my journey starts I can live in the sunshine I can live in the flowers Live in your thoughts and live in your heart. Come smile at me. Come smile at me early, early in the morning. This time, this time tomorrow, I may be gone. Come kiss my mouth. Come kiss my mouth. I may be gone. Come hold my hand. Come hold my hand. Early in the morning. This time, this time, tomorrow. I may be gone. 
Come say goodbye. Come say goodbye. Early in the morning. This time tomorrow, I may be gone. Smile at me, come smile at me early in the morning this time. Come look for me, come look for me early in the morning this time tomorrow. I may. Sing me a song, sing me a song. This time tomorrow, I may come say goodbye. Thank you. Thank you so much for my heart. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I can't let you go out in the street with that on you, so I got one more moment to. Now look at here. This next song is political. Here we go. So if you are a supporter of the orange one, of Cheeto, of number 45, if you voted for that fella, you ain't gonna like this song. <laughs> I'm just saying, you, you, you got time, the exit's right there, and all you can turn your machine off, turn it. The song is called, It Was You. Now, when I say it was you, it's call and response. You kind of answer me back, it was you. And we do a lot of pointing in this song, you know. <laughs> Somebody over there, we got a budding politician over there. <laughs> I've got a secret promise to tell I farted in the White House and it left an awful smell I farted in the Oval Office and the Lincoln bedroom too but I won't get in trouble cause I told them it was you it was you it was you but I won't get in trouble cause I told them it was you I got myself a camera, I attached it to a drone I flew it over the Pentagon when they were not at home Took pictures of George Santos when he was making poo But I won't get in trouble cause I told them it was you It was you, no it was you But I won't get in trouble cause I told them it was you I read the president's Twitter when I hacked in his account. I saw his missing taxes, and that ain't all I found. His hair comes from a horse's ass, stuck on tight with glue. But I won't get in trouble, cause I told him it was you. It was you. Oh, it was you. But I won't get in trouble, you know why? Cause I told him it was you. Trump 
Humpty Dumpty built a wall just to be cool and edgy. He fell from the top, tried to stop, died of a fatal wedgie. I went to see the president. My stomach was upset. I begged him. Pull my finger. And he did. To his regret. My ass let loose a mighty roar. I watched his face turn blue. But I won't get in trouble cause I told him it was you. It was you. No, it was you. I won't get in trouble cause I told him it was you. It was you. No, it was you. I won't get in trouble cause I told them it was you. Thank you all so much. Thank you all so much. Um, I am uh, 71 years old and happy to have spent a lot of time in the company of the great Pete Seeger. Uh, I never told him that he was my mentor, but his great genius was not in the fact that he was a musical genius and brilliant musically. It's that he could walk into a room full of strangers and when he came out, they were all friends because they sang together. I uh, first went to that summer camp run by his brother up in Vermont, his brother John. So years before I met Pete, I was um, watching people come into rooms and leading songs, getting groups of people singing, and that makes all the difference. So I thank you so much for all your hearts that you've given. And there were times maybe it wasn't easy to sing, and that's okay, because people listen, seeds get planted, and hopefully they're the human seeds, not the seeds of this side, the seeds of that side, but the human ones, okay? All righty. <laughs> Man, you make me want to do so doggone many songs at the same time, I can't know <laughs> where to stop. Give me just a minute, let's just... Oh. Well, that 61 highway is the loneliest road that I know. You know, that 61 highway is the loneliest road that I know. runs from New York 
babysitter Run right by my baby's door Well, some people say Say the Greyhound buses, they don't run You know, some people say, say the Greyhound buses, they don't run. Well, gonna go to West Memphis, baby, and look down Highway 61. I said, please, please see somebody for me. I said, please, please see somebody for me. If you see my baby, tell her she's all right, she's all right with me. My mama called me. I answered her, ma'am. She said, son, you're tired of rolling. I said, Mother, yes I am. My mama called me. Oh, and I answered her, ma'am. She said, son, are you tired of rolling? I said, mommy. Oh, yes, I am. If I should happen to die, babe, only for your thank, my time have come. If I should happen to die, babe, Thank my time have come I want you to bury my body Right down there by Highway 61 Thank you. Thank you all so very much.